Hello beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today I am styling up Outre's converter cap and this is in the style Blooming Love in the color number 1B. I just love how versatile these converter caps are. Here is the cap construction. You get a nice long comb at the top along with two combs on the side, one in the back. And I just love the drawstring because you're able to make it tight as you want it, loose as you want it. And you can also do a ponytail with this unit. Here I have it styled as a headband wig and baby it is cute, but it's just not giving the look I'm going for today. I just love how these curls are flowing and how they lay. It kind of reminds me of the roller wraps we used to wear back in high school. So I thought I'll recreate a hairstyle that I used to rock with my roller wraps. So I'm going to go ahead and part off a small section at the top, almost like a circle. Pinning that away and focusing on the back, I'm taking my shining jam and I'm gonna smooth the sides, mainly the sides because that's what's gonna be showing. And I'm gonna pull my hair back into a low ponytail and tuck it away with the bobby pin. Now I'm gonna part out my sections for my flat twist and I'm gonna part on a curve. Making sure that section is nice and sleek with a shining jam before I begin to twist. Now I like to part out a little small piece and then I start to do my flat twist. The key to getting a neat flat twist, you want to start off with small pieces then gradually add more as you twist. Secure with a rubber band. Now I'm placing my unit on and making sure I secure the combs. And adjust the drawstring, tuck it away. Mm -hmm. 
Next, I'm taking a small piece from the unit and adding it to my hair that's twisted. Then I'm twisting the hair almost like I'm doing a bantu knot, but instead of wrapping it around the hair itself, I'm going to allow the hair to start to fold on top of itself. I hope you guys are understanding what I'm trying to say, but I think just watching it, you guys can kind of get what I'm saying. Now, once I have my little twisted knot to my liking, I'm gonna take a hairpin and secure it with that. Now, you can use a bobby pin, but I find that hairpins work the best. They're just harder to hide, so I just go back and try to hide it the best that I could. Y2K styles were all about the spike, so I'm gonna spike it out a little bit and add a hairpin. When twisting the hair, you want to twist it tight and as you twist it tight, it will naturally start to fold on top of itself. I'm spiking it out some more. Make sure you check the description box down below. I will have all products used listed along with this unit from Outre. adding a couple hairpins to hide the wig cap, making sure my edges are nice and sleek, And I decided to flip up the hair, so I'm just gonna brush it to it's a nice little cute flip. And there we have it, girl. Super cute, super quick, Y2K inspired hairstyle using Outre's Converter Cap and Blooming Love. This style is so nostalgic. I can smell the pump it up spritz in the Ampro gel. <laughs> I was really feeling the flip, but I wanted to try and see how it looked bumped down with a more sleeker look. Comment down below. Let me know which way do you like it best, flip up or bump down. Make sure you guys like this video as well. And also subscribe if you're not subscribed. I would love for you to join my fam. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I enjoyed making it. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.